ಶ್ರುತಿಸ್ಮೃತಿಪುರಾಣ ಆಲಯ ಕರುಣಾಲಯ ನಮಿ ಭಗವತ್ಪಾದ ಶಂಕರ ಲೋಕಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೇಶವ ಪಾದರಾಯಣ ಸೂತ್ರಭಾಷ್ಯಕೃತ ವಂದೇ ಭಗವಂತ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃ ಈಶ್ವರೋ ಗುರುರಾತ್ಮೇತಿ ಮೂರ್ತಿಭೇದ ವಿಭಾಗಿ ವ್ಯೋಮವ್ಯಾಪ್ತೇಹಾಯ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ಗುಕಾರಸ್ತ್ವಂಧಕಾರೋ ವೈ ರುಕಾರಸ್ತನ್ನಿವರ್ತಕ ಅಂಧಕಾರ ನಿರೋಧಿ ಗುರುರಿತ್ಯಭಿಧೀಯತೆ ಓಂ ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೌ ಭುನಕ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯಂಕರವಾವಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನ್ನಾವಧೀತಮಸ್ತು ಮಾ ವಿಷಾವಹೈ ಈ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ನಂಬರ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ವರ್ಸ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಕರ್ಮ ಪದಾರ್ಥ ವಸ್ತು ಕರ್ತ್ರಾತ್ಮಕ ತಂತ್ರ ಜ್ಞಾನಾನ್ಮೋಕ್ಷೋ ನ ಕರ್ಮಭ್ಯ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ಇತಿ ವೇದಾಂತ ಡಿಂಡಿಮ ಅಗೇನ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಟೂ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದೇ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕರ್ಮ ಆಕ್ಷನ್ action cannot produce knowledge we have been seeing that because what does what can action do it can only do some limited things if something is far away from you by action you can go reach it i want water it is over there so i have to go reach to the water maybe it's in the other room i have to walk there bring back the water and drink the water or i can put some things together and produce something or i can take two things and then modify them into something or i can clean something now what is the stock example copper pot i can clean it none of these uh, these examples of actions and the shastra says these are the only four things that action can do all kinds of things are do, clump together in this this is what action can do nothing more and so how are you going to know the atma how will action help to gain the atma you can't reach for the atma why because it's already you action cannot help then what else you can't clean the atma although there are traditions that talk about cleaning the atma why can't the atma be cleaned many reasons first you have to find it as an object 
where are you going to where are you going to find it the one who is looking for it is is what we are talking about that's one reason you can't clean it it says catch me if you can then only you can clean so if you can't catch it you can't clean it it can't be caught because it's got to be taught so it cannot be caught it's not an object it's you the content the truth of the subject and the truth of the that which we call object that is the beauty of this so you can't clean it and then you can't go get it because the go getter is the atma where are you going to go where is atma the better question is where is it not it's everywhere and so you can't go get the atma because the one who is going to get the atma happens to be atma two actions gone and also one more thing you can't clean it because it happens to be always free clean means what dirt and what is dirty dirt means what guilt hurt guilt and hurt is the dirt and so atma is neither guilty nor hurty yeah <laughs> does it guilt doesn't have guilt doesn't have hurt no papa no punya no merits no demerits nothing what are you going to clean and so that action is also gone okay i'll produce the atma habeas corpus i'll produce the atma how are you going to produce it it's not a product it it is uncreated it's already there and it happens to be you no production is possible for that which is uncreated and besides if it were to be produced you know what would happen and uh, it would uh, it would be subject to becoming diseased anything that is produced falls apart anything that is produced has various parts cannot be produced so that action also we can cross then what else is left let's put two things together and make the atma along with the help of actions then what happens where where are you going to get the other thing hmm? one thing you have atma where are you going to get the other thing you have to say anatma and what is anatma no thing okay so you mix thing and no thing what do you get a headache yeah <laughs> that's what will that's what will come nothing else will come and so none of the actions help but one is essentially identified as a doer we don't know how to be doing 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 one life gone doing 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 another life gone not just human beings you look at all the animals who is which animal is sitting still you know other than alligators or turtles <laughs> very few even an ant can give you hours of contemplation you can ask it where are you going <laughs> so busy just going going and then you put your hand there it will cross over your finger and go wherever it thinks it needs to go just keep going keep on going whole world is a dance of nataraja always in motion that's too easy to see what is unseen is the one who senses motion i awareness consciousness the one who senses motion has to be essentially motionless still unmoving unchanging
because all the changes become evident to me. Motion of the universe and everything in it becomes evident to me. Everything becomes evident to me because I don't move. The meaning of the word I is achala, unmoving. Not moving anywhere, not doing anything, just still and motionless, absolutely motionless. Why? Because the, of two reasons. In order to move, there should be some, uh, what should I say, parts. Moving parts should be there. <laughs> How many parts does the Atma have? None. How is it going to move? And also, like space, Atma is all pervasive. So where is it going to move? The need for motion comes when? When you have to go do something and go somewhere where, you, where your reach is not. For that which is all pervasive, there is no need to move. It happens to be everything, everywhere, all at once. Therefore, motionless. Cannot move, need not move. That's more important. Cannot move, one thing. Need not move, another thing. Both those things are important to uh, internalize. Then, so, that which is motionless, and doesn't do anything, has to be recognized through knowledge. And this simple logic escapes us sometimes because there seems to be a block, a resistance. Why can't I do this in this particular way and get the Atma? Can I get the Atma by catching my nose? Pranayama. No. Can I get the Atma by catching my toes, provided I can reach them? <laughs> no. Why? Because of all these reasons we have been talking about. But the best and the soundest uh, logic is given in the next line which says that, uh, the, which say, uh, in the first line, vastu kartra tantrath, uh, tantratmakau, vastu tantra and kartra tantra. These are two technical words. We have to understand this fully. This is what was left out yesterday. We have to understand this fully, vastu tantra. Tantra means, what does Tantra mean? Dependent upon. Vastu means object. Kartra means doer. Jnanam, knowledge, is Vastu Tantra. Vastu Tantra means knowledge is as true as the object. Look at this delicious mango. <laughs> Who wants? Come and get it. <laughs> Wonderful mango. Juicy. Orange. Delicious. Very fragrant. <laughs> Aromatic. Wonderful mango. Even the student with the most shraddha, he cannot, uh, cannot buy this. Why? <laughs> Pramana, the eyes are telling a different story. The eyes are telling a different story. The eyes are saying, this is not mango. This is not mango, this is pot. The mind is telling a different story. Until last night, she was okay. <laughs> 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 S 
something went wrong. <laughs> because the eyes are responding to what, uh, the mind is responding to what the eyes have picked up. And they are telling a very different story. Very interesting. This is called Vastu Tantram Jnanam. No matter how hard I try to deny that uh, this is not a part, it will still be a part. That's how it will be, it cannot be anything else. No matter how hard you try, you cannot see a mango in, instead of the pot. So the knowledge is dependent upon the object that it reveals. Whereas action is dependent upon the initiator of the action, the doer. In action, there are choices. You can do, you need not do, or you can do something differently. And you can tell everybody, I have my own groove, I have my own style of doing things. Earlier I said, please come get the mango. There was a choice exercise, nobody came to get it. <laughs> it was enough that just the teacher's sanity was being questioned. If somebody had come and get it, what would happen? <laughs> Their sanity would also be questioned. <laughs> That's why nobody came. Why? There was a choice exercised. And maybe somebody will decide to come afterwards and say, Can I have that? <laughs> I didn't want to say that in front of everybody, but can I have that now? You can do it differently, see? In Sanskritam we say, kartum shakyam. It's possible to do. Where knowledge is there, options are there. Sorry, when actions is, we are talking of actions, options come up. I can do. I need not do. Akartum shakyam. Va or anyatha kartum shakyam. I can do it differently. I can do it later or I need not do it at all, or I can do it in my own way, however I want. These options are there with action. That's why it is called Kartru Tantram, because the action is dependent upon the doer, and here it's assumed the doer is a human being with a free, exercising a free will. So these options abound. With knowledge, do you have an option? I choose to know this is a mango. No, no, no. I choose to know that this is not a mango. Or, let's compromise and make everybody happy. I draw an imaginary line here. Half mango, half pot. Do you have this option? No. Knowledge, all options go away. If you want to lead a healthier life, make the body healthy, then there are options. Somebody will take up a fitness reg regimen, pump the iron, and some people will take up a, what is that called? Keto and all other diets. Low carb, low this, low that. Then somebody says, I'm going to do a combination of the two. And even in exercise, there are options. This is better, that is better, this, this is how it's done, that's how it's done. So many options are there. But I want to dismiss my ignorance about myself because of which ignorance I come to wretched conclusions. 
confused conclusions and most often wretched conclusions. And as a result of these wretched conclusions, I suffer and then I paint these wretched conclusions on to others and force them to take care of me and reckon with me, deal with me and then so everything, you know, it's just like I bring down everything. What option do I have here? The confusion must be removed. The antidote to removing the confusion along with the wrong conclusion is knowledge. That's all it is. It's as simple as the glasses on the head. Now tell me what I should do to gain them back. First they are threatening to dislodge this example. Okay, stay there. Yeah. <laughs> Shall I stand on one leg and do tapas? No. <laughs> Shall I do upavasa and skip the meals today? Will, I, will that bring back my glasses? No. Shall I go on a pilgrimage? Char dham yatra. There is, a, <laughs> there, is a, there is a kind of a set route. In the upper Himalayas you go. The source of Ganga you go see. Source of Yamuna. They say it's the source. Actually it's a resource, but anyhow. So, <laughs> source of Yamuna. And then you go to a place called Badrinath. Then you go to a place called Kedarnath. Will I get my glasses? Which I seem to have lost and which I have apparently misplaced. Blind as a bat I am, I cannot see, I have to look and I can't find my glasses. Please give me the requisite upasana. Or maybe I should go to a Mahatma, a great person, a sage, an ascetic, and ask him or her to bop me with a bunch of peacock feathers. The path of Shakti. Maybe I should do that. Will that bring back my glasses? Not unless the peacock feathers <laughs> dislodge it. <laughs> it won't. What is it that will bring back the lost, as though lost, glasses? What is it that will bring it back? Somebody has to tell me. A well-wisher who cannot bear to see me making bookings <laughs> for pilgrimage. <laughs> Spending money I don't, I, I don't have and going from pillar to post doing all kinds of sadhanas, catching the nose, catching the toes, standing on one leg and then on the other and doing all kinds of things. That person who can't handle this anymore takes pity on me and compassionately tells me, you are the, already the possessor of the glasses. The glasses are possessing me now, the search for the glasses. And I happen to be the possessor of them already. This is given. So the only way to unite with the glasses is to be told that I already have them. They are only as though lost and then it's as though found. We have to amend the uh, amazing Grace lyrics. I was as though lost. Now I am as though found. <laughs> That's what it is. It's all as though. So why is there so much trouble? Because when we talk about knowledge, even though it makes sense, one feels optionless. And feeling optionless makes one feel sometimes claustrophobic. 
long life to you makes one feel claustrophobic oh no 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 i need options what what options no no i need lots of choices little bit of moksha little bit of samsara here is a place where options do not exist there truly is not there are no options in knowing that i am whole free and i have no complaints what option is there but still people say oh no no that is that is only for the intellectuals i am not intellectual what are you <laughs> you tell me what are you if you are not intellectual no i i just like to do things nobody is stopping you from doing things all that we are saying is doing things is not going to get you to understand this that's all doing things is wonderful keep doing doing things you is good for self esteem doing things is good for preparation for the uh, purification of the heart ridding the heart of raga dvesha doing things is good it helps others it helps you to grow emotionally i'm not stopping you from doing things but there is fear of commitment what else is out there <laughs> i want to see what else is there and then uh, there are always people who have read a lot and they will cite certain other uh, people who is that ramana maharshi got this knowledge without studies he didn't do a 3 year course he didn't go to an ashram and there are so many other people will be cited ramana maharshi did a 3 year course in the previous life <laughs> must have done many 3 year courses either you do the preparation now asmin janmani or janmantare va in other lives doesn't matter everybody comes with a level of preparation because of which there is a certain ease in assimilating this knowledge and so this is something that must be understood that every rule has an exception the ex- the exceptions do not dismiss the rule they only go to prove that the rule is sound every rule has an exception why quote the exception are we prepared to re- lead a life like ramana maharshi did no i don't think so okay let's keep quiet then <laughs> and move on this is the a very straight forward statement knowledge depends on the object that is to be known there are no options in knowledge whereas there are options in doing doing number 1 number 2 doing is not opposed to self knowledge doing is when used properly it is a wonderful tool for self growth and internal preparation that helps me to internalize the knowledge without block or resistance if this much is understood then there is no argument there need not be any argument then we will go to number 12 नवर्णाश्रम संकेत कर्मोपासनादिभिः 
ब्रह्मज्ञानम विना मोक्ष then again the same thing is iterated here brahma jnanam vina mokshah na moksha is not possible without knowledge of i as what brahman what is brahman limitless whole happy the opposite of everything that is experienced in the world brahman happy what i think myself to be sad <laughs> brahman limitless what do i think of myself as finite limited body wise limited mind wise never mind very limited <laughs> senses wise limited accomplishment wise limited finances wise oh my god very limited <laughs> limited 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 brahman limitless i the abode of sadness dukkhalayam <laughs> dukkhalaya and brahman of the nature of total unbridled limitless ananda this is what i have to know now that i am comfortable with the optionlessness of knowledge now that i know that okay i have been caught now i can't do you know dig my way to moksha i can't do anything i have to study same thing is being taught here brahma gnanam vina mok uh, brahma gnanam vina moksha na siddhyati moksha is not gained without knowledge of brahman actually the word of is misplaced here the word of is a little off because <laughs> knowledge of brahman is indeed knowledge that is brahman it's like saying the head of rahu what is rahu all head <laughs> nothing but head so it is what is called aupachariki shashti a sixth case that is just a uh, just a formality for the sake of formality we say knowledge of brahman knowledge of brahman means again there will be uh, there will be a uh, block a duality a slight duality which says that uh, which says what uh, there is brahman a and there is knowledge of brahman b that brahman which is knowledge which is the knowledge of one self as free that knowledge what's the only sadhana for that uh, is to study that so the for, the only sadhana for this freedom for this liberation is a committed exposure to this knowledge and nobody is exempt na varna shrama sanketaihi you can't say i have i i am born very very rich moksha you know by like going to a hotel and saying waiter moksha i'll have two <laughs> bring to <laughs> for myself and the significant other <laughs> two mokshas on demand not possible your money <laughs> is of no use where moksha is concerned 
and this was i was citing the dialogue between yagyavalkya and his wife the sage maitreyi yagyavalkya is a very rich person in the upanishad extremely wealthy he used to go for debates and used to go there and the prize for winning the debate would be 500 head of cattle that's the prize and cattle means you have to have land you have to have people to wash them and take them to the pasture that that's mark of richness he used to go and tell his students the debate hasn't even started they are just having chai okay warming up for the debate he used to tell his students drive all the cattles and go go cattle and go back to the ashram because the cattle walk slowly suddenly it will see a patch of grass it wants to do this and it wants to eat and you pull pull you will have a dislocated shoulder that's all it's not going to budge and another one decides to sleep right there so it will take a long time take all the cattle which was the prize money this is the thing and before the competition he tells his students take all the cattle and go back to the ashram and wait for me there from the prize you know even before the competition the prize is claimed that's the first surprise second surprise is not the host not the people assembled there nobody grumbles nobody says how can you do this this is against the rules because they know that with him entering into any dialogue is means he will only win in this way after driving home several heads of cattle after se- before several vadas he had accumulated a lot of wealth then he had vairagyaitis he had total vairagya for everything he owned wanted to just be with himself was already a very erudite man wanted to spend his time in contemplation ut aham asyan are maitreyi are means hani dear hani dear wife of mine i am pushing off from here that's what he says udyasyan i am pushing off here with the desire to just lead a contemplative life to firm up this knowledge that i already have to assimilate it deeper and more fully but you don't worry you and he had another wife also katyayini between the two of you i have divided this huge wealth of mine into two you will never ever lack for anything tata <laughs> what does she say not so fast <laughs> she is a very uh, clever lady herself well read well educated and she she asks him a very simple and poignant question dear habbi all this money that you are leaving me with that will i get what it is that you are going for to the forest she knows the answer but she wants to hear it from him so she asks him purposely he is an honest man he says vittena nasha amritatvasya this immortality that i want to firm up as my own nature is not gained by money yatha उपकरणवता जीवित सैथ तथा तव तथा ते जस्ट लाइक द पीपल विथ मीन्स लिव दे कैन गो ऑन वेकेशन वेन एवर दे वॉन्ट 
they don't have to say i have to work for the whole year and wait for the bonus and then let's see if it's enough let's see if i don't fall sick or the family members don't have any other emergencies and then we can plan a vacation no such thing i feel like a vacation okay let's look for tickets oh but you have to buy some time in advance who says i have to buy some time in advance i can buy it right now and i can just go wherever i want whenever i want however i want and your life will be just like that my three everything will be on your fingertips you don't have to lack for anything everything except brahman will be on your fingertips <laughs> what is everything except brahman nothing <laughs> that's how the teaching begins over there riches cannot bring brahman at your doorstep at your feet social class cannot bring brahman at the feet okay i may not have riches but i am i have power i'm the president of the united states very very powerful position not so powerful and social class money any other accoutrements which are mentioned here let's see what else so uh, or one can say i'm uh, ashrama means stage of life uh, i'm older that means what i'll get brahman sooner than you <laughs> because you were born yesterday i have experience i have gray hair i have wrinkles and to the one who has all these things the insignia of age brahman will just surely take pity on me and come to me first you have to wait in line like everyone else no whether wherever you are on the social ladder wherever one is on the age ladder brahman is not going to come unless one has the antidote in hand what is the antidote self knowledge that is what this says next one Fourteen. Vritha kriya vritha lapan. Vritha vadan manorathan. Tyaktvai 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 kam brahma vigneyam. so then the question comes all right all right all right the drum beats are definitely telling me that knowledge is the only antidote i think i'm getting it i think i'm getting it what to do how to do this look i lead a full life i have so many things i have to do i have to be here go you know i'm the mover and shaker of people and things how to do this what is the what is the method where to start because i have wild away the whole life i have looked for the knowledge in places where it's not in the realm of action in the realm of meditation every other place where it is not i have looked for it so much time has already gone how to conserve the rest give me some practical tips this is sounds like a satsang question everybody wants immediate enforceable practical tips vedanta dindima says okay here they are some drastic practical tips are given 
what are they first it says uh, the the order of the word of the day here is vritha very nice word what does it mean useless <laughs> vritha let's see all the things that are considered useless for this pursuit vritha kriya actions my dear are useless actions are useless one meaning or all the useless actions i have to look at another meaning both meanings are good and applicable actions in themselves are useless but then if if i say that and then you ask me to pay your monthly bills then i will give you the second meaning <laughs> actions are useless okay so i i am going to quit my job <laughs> you pay my bills if you tell me that then i'll say you take the second meaning right now in your station of life where you are at if you are unable to see that all actions are useless try to put the word useless before the action you see first meaning all actions are useless in faced with knowledge we have already seen so actions are useless where does the word useless go after the action in the second instance if you are not able to go with that if you are not able to let go of all actions as useless because of where you are at in your life then put the word useless in front of the word action and then say i would like to give up all useless actions you see how beautiful this is useless actions actions that are necessary to upkeep my life and to keep up what i have to do i will do rest are given up useless actions useless actions you, you can you know do a little scan of all the things that are done in the day and and very very evident it is what actions are useless what actions stem from habit which actions stem from uh, some kind of a restless orientation restlessness rajas habit raj, one 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 set of actions are done purely because of habit another set of action another kinds of action are done purely because of some inner restlessness can't sit still third kind of actions are done for this obligation familial obligation cultural obligations and a sickness called what will they think i it is <laughs> this is what it is <laughs> if i don't do this what will they think oh no 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 i should do this because they did this for me and then if i don't do this for them they'll think i don't like them but you really don't like them yeah but they don't know that <laughs> so useless actions actions that do not in other words so we have given examples of useless actions so in some actions that do not help me grow actions that do not help me go with the flow actions that do not help settle the heart and focus the mind towards gaining this knowledge what do they do with that i give those actions up i mark them as useless put them in the dustbin throw it out do not practice those actions that do not further my quest actions are an important secondary sadhana primary sadhana for self knowledge is listening to the teachings 
secondary sadhana is to help prepare the mind to listen to the teachings those i retain the rest are given up so that's with the actions then another one vritha la alapan alapa uh, means many things alapa means loud complaints uh, everybody should hear too cold room is too cold <laughs> too hot <laughs> too hot and let's say both these present people are present in the room <laughs> imagine what everybody else is going to go through okay we have to come with the rest of us have to come with ear plugs to be able to drown the sounds out too hot too cold oh dukha 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 terrible can't handle it can't handle it too much too much too much too much loud lamentation and the other one says or the same one after 10 minutes says the, the one who said too much too much says not enough not enough not enough more more oh no too much whole day is gone like this whole entire day and so this is one example of alapa also called vilapa vilapa the antidote to vilapa is titiksha what is titiksha forbearance. forbearance means putting up with okay putting up with putting up with difficulties challenges for the sake of self growth not that one is a martyr if there is something you can change by all means go and change it we are talking of situations that cannot be changed putting up with difficulties for the sake of self growth for the sake of knowledge ultimately things which i cannot change i learn to not loudly complain about or internally combust because i am not complaining <laughs> explode or implode both those i do not do explosion vilapa implosion is called chinta obsessive worry anxiety which is like acid corroding oneself from within so vritha alapan useless are the alapa useless are the actions that do not further preparation vritha vadan this is very important vadan means talking for the sake of talking talking for the sake of proving a point after this what happens after the class is over you meet a few people for tea and then go into a charcha charcha means discussion charcha did the discussion soon devolves into a disputation <laughs> a disputation then can come to fisty cuffs all this is avoided by only talking as much as is needed when it is needed and most importantly uh, refraining from talking when it is not needed what to talk when to talk how much to talk how much to not talk and when to not talk all these become extremely important vritha all talk is in fact the kathopanishad says an uh, mundaka upanishad also says anya vatha vacha pramunchatha give up all talk ayyo that's just too much <laughs> i love to talk that's one of the reasons i come to the ashram 
<laughs> so that I find people to talk to. And here you are taking away my only crutch. I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't have any other difficult habits. I just like to talk, okay? What's wrong with talking? <laughs> I have a solution. Says, I don't say, <laughs> says the <laughs> Mundaka Upanishad. Talk. Talk as much as you want. Oh, yippee, really? Yes. Talk only Vedanta. <laughs> Talk as much as you want. Only Vedanta. When some other talk is coming, convert it into Vedanta. Convert every, th every thought that comes, convert it into whatever you have studied. Then, suddenly, you are doing Nididhyasana, contemplation 24-7, 365. No other talk. The mind will go places. Oh, why did they do this? What is happening over here? Who is going over there? Oh, that person has come. Hmm, interesting. And <laughs> this is <laughs> and all these uh, and all these uh, mental chatter it comes from here to the jaws and to the tongue and then gets articulated. First of all, every thought need not be articulated. Okay, simple. Whatever I think doesn't need to be told. If you really want to tell, go to the Shanti trail. I told you yesterday. Tell it to the trees, the animals that you find there. So, that's one solution. Every thought doesn't need to be expressed, doesn't need to be articulated. If you must articulate it, convert it into Vedanta. How we'll see later. But convert it into Vedanta. So, Vritha Vadan and then Manorathan. Manorathan is the expression of all kinds of desires, mostly nonsensical desires. Oh, how I wish. Okay, I'm not talking, but I'm going on a nice trip in my mind. How I wish I was rich and famous. What would you be doing? Oh, I would be handing out money. Because I'm a generous person. And then everyone is clapping. I'm feeling good. Wonderful. Where are, where are you feeling good? Sitting in the class. I have gone on a nice mental trip. <laughs> when the teacher is saying what? Tatvamasi. <laughs> it's being unfolded. You are the cause of the universe. Oh. Did I miss that? <laughs> when is the next retreat? <laughs> Let me sign up. So, Vritha, Vadancha, Manorathan. And so, what to do with all this? Tyaktva. Give it all up. Give it up, give it up, give it up. And it's nice to give up things together. You have companionship in giving up. You can make a pact. Let us, let us throw this kind of talk away. And next time you talk like this, tell me, and then I will tell you. When I talk like this, you can tell me. When you talk like this, I will tell you. And we make a pact. It works very nice in families and friends. And, and then, tyaktva, then giving up all that, ekam brahma vignyayam, my focus on only brahman, which is to be known. Iti Vedanta Dindimaha. That was a very nice drum beat. Om Purnamadav Purnamidam Purnat Purnamadachyate Purnasya Purnamadagya Purnameva Vashishyate Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Shri Gurubhyo Namaha Harihi Om